Steve, obviously that'd be pretty disappointing just not a full get a full game in. What did you make of what you saw? I uh, thought it was probably one of our worst bowling displays that we've put on for a very long time. Um, we bowled both sides of the wicket. Uh, we gave them a lot of freebies and it was pretty ordinary, to be honest with you. Is that rustiness because Mitch and Josh didn't play in the IPL? Is that a bit, bit of that or what do you put that down to? Let's hope it's rust and let's hope it's gone um, because that was, as I said, it was pretty ordinary. And, um, you know, credit to them. They came out and played and came quite hard and... Um, played quite well up top and, and got their innings going and Kane timed his innings beautifully, he played really well throughout the middle. Um, but yeah, we, we did not bowl well at all. So that's something we need to look at and improve on for the next game. <clears throat> you didn't think the bowlers pulled it back a little bit in the last half of the innings? The last probably 10, 15 overs was, yeah. was pretty good. Um, and that's something that I guess we have done pretty well for a very long time. Um, but if you start well, uh, you, you certainly make things a, a hell of a lot easier on yourselves. And today we didn't do that. Steve, was that a concern particularly about Mitch, seeing as he hadn't played since the Indian tour? Were you a bit worried going in that they might be a little bit underdone? Uh, he, he's a seasoned campaigner now. He's played a lot of cricket and, you know, he's one of the best bowlers in the world. So, you know, you've, you've got to back those guys and, um, you know, he's worked incredibly hard the last couple of weeks to get himself um, in a position where he could play and uh, he's bow been bowling well in the net. So let's just hope today was um, a bit of rust and, uh, and we can let that go and keep moving forward. Steve, what was the overwhelming sort of feeling when the rain came down? Do you feel like at 53 for three, you perhaps got away with one there, or do you still feel like you're well in it? Uh, we obviously still had some, some batters in the shed that can, can certainly play um, when, when you need to be chasing a total like that. But, yeah, I, I probably certainly would have um, preferred to be in New Zealand's position when we came off at the end there. Um, we still had a lot of work to do, and, um, you know, they've got a quality bowling attack as well, so... Uh, we perhaps got away with one there. Uh, do you feel uh, the top order is a matter of concern for the ne before the next match or was it just a matter of stops and starts that were affecting you guys? Our top order? Uh, I don't think it's a big concern. Um, you know, guys were, were going pretty hard. We had a, a pretty big total to, to chase down and, you know, those can sort of go one or two ways. Um, those guys can come off, which they do majority of the time. So, um, yeah, we're, we're not really worried about that. Steve, with the game on Monday, what do you do with your, the kind of team selection? Do you kind of give guys that need time in the middle, time in the middle, or do you make changes? Um, oh, well, well, we're going to be trying to win the game, so um, whatever team we see fit for, for the next match against Bangladesh at the Oval, um, we'll look at the conditions there and see what sort of wicket we get. And obviously we've got to win the next game, and, and probably quite well as well. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll look at that when we get there. Steve, when there's debates about the best batsman in the world, it's usually surrounding yourself, Kohli, Joe Root and guys like that. Do you think Williamson is quietly doing his own thing and should be up there with you guys? I think Kane's a magnificent player um, in, in all formats of the game. He's, uh, he's a very smart cricketer. He understands his game incredibly well. Um, and he's just, yeah, he's a, he's a very good player. And um, it looks like he's just getting better as well. So, um, yeah, great player. Um, Steve, with the, just the selection um, picking Moses for the first time in a while, was that a, a last-minute thing ahead of Chris Lynn or was that in your plans all week? Um, that was probably in our plans. Um, uh, we, we could have gone a couple of different ways. Um, Moses' bowling was quite handy today as well. Um, he's a good fielder, so, um, yeah, we, we, we went that option and... Um, yeah, obviously today it didn't work out. It, we were going pretty hard as well just before the um, the rain came down to, to try and get in front of the game. So uh, it wasn't an ideal sort of scenario, but um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, we can see him score some runs in the next game. Um, given the format, it's so short. How difficult does that make it now? Given that you know the first game's been washed out. Yeah, it's obviously not ideal for, for both sides to, to have a washout. Um, so for us now, it's just about making sure that we're playing each game like a final and um, and winning the next two. It's a, it's a pretty quick tournament, so you can't really afford too many or a washout, really, and or a loss. So, um, you know, you've got to turn it around quickly now and control what you can control. Was there anything for bowlers on this wicket, especially for spinners? 
No, I don't think there was any spin, um, according to to uh, Hetty and um, and Wadey. There wasn't a, a great deal there. Um, it, it really didn't swing much for both sides uh, at all, um, perhaps because there was a bit of moisture in the ground and um, the ball was getting a little bit a little bit wet at times. But um, no, that there, there was, was a pretty good wicket, to be fair. Does the strategy now change, given the way they went after the quick bowlers? And obviously the, the selection <clears throat> of the squad was with the four big quicks and... Um, maybe using them as the mainstay of the attack, but given they got whacked around a bit, do you re-strategise a little bit and look more maybe at Moses bowling more? John Hastings, obviously, he'll bowl his team, but maybe bringing in Adam Zamper in that way, given the, given how they went after the quicks today? Um, well, as you said, Moses and, and Hasto bowled a, a reason, reasonable amount today, so it seemed like almost the slower you bowled, it was um, a little bit better for, for these conditions. So, again, that's that's what we're going to have to look at at the Oval and, and see what we're see what we think our best eleven is for that particular wicket against uh, Bangladesh.